Welcome back everyone to Open Wheel Manager. And in today's video, we are going to start a brand new season. Of course, in our very first video, we were playing around with some things, testing out, seeing what worked, what didn't, what sort of variables are included in the game, all of that sort of thing, just to get our first look at the game. Now we're going to jump into a brand new game, start a season, and see what we can do, see what kind of car we can build, see what kind of drivers we can get, and so on. So we're gonna begin, start new game. We're gonna use the default database, no mods. And we are gonna be Omega GP. Just all of this is the same as we did in the first video. Okay, so we're gonna come in to a team overview. And let's see, what do we have here? All right, so everything looks very similar to what we saw uh, previously, I was wondering just how much randomness and how much variation there is each time you start a, a new career or a new season and it looks like there's a little bit there but for the most part everything is about what we saw uh, last time one thing I can tell you after doing some quick math of our sponsor versus all of our costs is we are upside down we are in the red on a week by week basis so we're going to need to uh, get as much done during this season as we can, but we're going to also have to watch our cost a little bit so that we don't completely run through all $124 million that we've got or, uh, or at least close to that. All right, so one of the things that has happened since our very first video is there was an update release for the game. So you're going to notice a few changes here and there, uh, and I noticed the changes immediately in the tool tips. So now if we hover over the salary budget, you can see that a higher level increases the number of uh, points, whether it's development, research, and so on, with the identical same staff count. So that's good to keep in mind. That's kind of what we were thinking in the first video was going on, but it's nice to have that uh, increase put into play. Now the problem for us is that 527 is very expensive and we just don't have the sponsor money to do that right now however one thing i do want to do we're here at week one and i think money spent to upgrade our infrastructure would be time and money well spent so i'm immediately going to upgrade uh, you can see it's going to take a little while for these upgrades to happen and they're expensive but i think in the long run they're going to be worth it uh, this commercial Upgrade is a particularly important for us because the higher our commercial value and our staff, the better uh, sponsors we can get as time goes on. So that's going to be good. And then we're also going to do design. Now, I'm going to leave mechanics alone right now because they're level eight and everything else is woefully behind that. So that's going to get some construction up and running. Uh, it's going to spend a little bit extra money, but I think it's going to be money well spent. Now, if we take a look at next season real quick, you can see we don't have anybody nailed down. Uh, we've got Vincenzo, who is 34. Colin is 18. So we'd like to keep Colin around. So let's go ahead and find these guys in uh, the driver search. We'll go ahead and use the search panel here. And here are our two drivers. So let's see, Vincenzo, if we try to offer him a new contract, obviously he has great experience, as you would expect uh, for somebody who is uh, in their mid-30s. Uh, pretty good speed, concentration, and so on. So this is a good driver. Technical level, 76. All very good. So new contract, and oh, well, immediately we hit our first roadblock. Too old for another season. So he is planning on retiring. So that means we're going to have instantly one seat to fill next season. Let's see about Colin. All right, so what do we have? Right now he's making 102 k per week. Very good work if you can get it. And he's not interested in negotiating a contract. Uh, okay, so we're going to lose both drivers next year. That is certainly not what we uh, wanted to hear, but uh, so be it. Uh, let's actually go ahead. Can we? Nope, you're not going to let me do that, are you? Okay, I was trying to reduce the maximum, uh, but apparently we're not going to be able to do that. We just have to resort the columns in order to take care of that. Uh, so let's see who might be available. Something tells me that these guys will probably not be available. Wow, that is huge and not interested. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna have some issues trying to find some drivers. 
uh, let's see, let's move our way down the speed list because you can see right now everything is filtered through uh, speed in descending order. So, okay, let's see about Kimi. He's not actually working right now on a team, uh, and he's pretty good overall. I mean, granted, his experience isn't great, but his speed, concentration, uh, overtaking, all not too bad. And he's also not interested. All right, so we'll come back to that because we are clearly not getting uh, anywhere doing this. Uh, so let's take a look at our designer. Uh, speed 99, 43 on quality. That's not bad. I like the speed uh, quite a bit at being basically maxed out. Uh, let's see about the 43. Uh, we'll have to keep in mind he's making 51K a week. Uh, so let's see. What about roles? Let's see. We do need designers. And as we saw before, uh, we don't have enough high enough reputation. This is another very useful tool tip to let us know why we cannot offer a, a particular contract. All right. So this is, let's see, quality, optimization, speed, and... All right, so I'm seeing some pretty good ones in here uh, as far as the quality. And again, Harvey Martins here is currently with our team. Uh, but I kind of like what I'm seeing from him. Uh, it's not terrible, that's for sure. Now, hopefully his age, which I notice is sort of middle of the road, hopefully he will be uh, young enough that he'll want to stay with us for several years if we decide that route is where we want to go. Uh, but I'm seeing some pretty good designers on some of these other teams. All right, so for right now, I'll tell you what. Let's just try Harvey Martin's. Uh, actually, no. No, we can't. I didn't realize that. Uh, I was thinking the contract offer was highlighted here for him, but it is not. Okay, so apparently we're going to have some work to do. We're going to come back to that. Uh, we'll, because this is not turning out well at all. And engines, we're okay right now. Uh, again, this is something apparently we're going to have to spend a little bit more time on as we progress. But that is going to be a thorn in our side from the very beginning is setting up contracts for next uh, season for all of the different spots we're going to have open. Now, we need to determine what we're going to start working on. So we'll queue up some projects uh, to begin working on our second, third, and so on iterations of the various components that we decide to focus on. And then once the development is done, or excuse me, the projects are done, then we work into development, which is actually creating uh, and manufacturing the parts. So uh, let's take a quick look at the calendar. And let's take a look at some of the important parts. So we got front wing, underbody, suspension, Okay, brakes, engine. Okay, so a lot of the things that you would imagine would be important. Okay, same thing here. We see front wing, suspension, uh, engine. All right, what about... Okay, and of course, engine we have a contract with. We don't have to worry about any development there. Uh, but what I am seeing is that in a lot of these cases... Front wing and suspension and brakes are going to be extremely important. Uh, and, of course, a lot of that stands to reason. So let's go ahead and get to work on those. So we're going to go ahead and get front wing, suspension, and brakes. And what we'll do is we'll make a decision after we get done with the second iteration where we go from here uh, because all of these are really good options. There are no bad options to improve our car, uh, and we got a lot of work to do to improve our car. All right, so no development to be done right now. We'll have to wait a bit for that. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. I think we've done all the damage we can do for week one. All right, so there we go, 43 out of 50. And so we'll go ahead and complete uh, week two as well. And that should mean, yes, front wing is now done. So we can come over to development and new part. We want the second iteration of the front wing. And very quickly, you can see uh, the difference there. So we go from 24 to 32, 27 to 37, so a nice improvement there, and then 29 to 34. Okay, so we'll take it. 
Okay, come back over to projects and I'm actually going to load up another front wing. We're going to try to get as much done as we can before we get to the first race. Not necessarily the first test session, but the first actual points paying race. So we're going to try to get through a few iterations of each of these. Development will take a little bit longer uh, until we get another upgrade there, but overall, I think we're in good shape. Okay, see how we're doing on the development? Okay, not terribly good. Uh, 39 out of 89, of course, again, we already know that's going to be slow for a little while until we get some upgrades, uh, which lets me know that it's going to be a multiple season, a multiple year process uh, to get to where we want to be, and I am perfectly fine with that. All right, so now we are ready for brakes. Uh, so let's go ahead with suspension and queue it up once again. So we'll work on the third iteration there, and then we'll do the same thing with brakes once uh, it comes into play. So now development, uh, we need to add suspension and work there. For right now, we're only dealing with a single part at a time. So what I mean by that is for front wing and suspension, I could have queued up two parts so we would have one for each car. But for right now, I'm just trying to get some small incremental upgrades until we get later on in the season. Uh, and then we can start building more parts for both cars. Okay, so projects, we've got three in, de in uh, development. Then we come over to development, which we've got two. So everything is looking good there. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward. And let's come back into our project. Almost done with the brakes. And we are now done with our first front wing. So let's come into setup and let's go ahead and add this to car number one, Vincenzo. Uh, and again, a nice increase here, a nice incremental increase, not a huge amount, but uh, something we need to get started on. And so I'm very happy with our progress so far. Okay, so we come to our first test session. So project, we are now done with the brakes, the second iteration. So let's go ahead and queue up the third iteration there. And that means uh, that we can come down to brakes and queue up the second iteration under development. Okay, good. I like this quite a bit. Let's make sure our car setup is where we need it. We only have the one new part. So everything else should be standard issue. And let's see how we do. So, okay. So not, not great about what we would expect, though. So we're 15th and 23rd. Uh, we're next to last as far as the teams go. I think we learned in the last video that we need to be, what is it, the top eight teams, seven teams, something along those lines are what get points in a points-paying race. So uh, that's where we're really aiming right now. Is we're trying to score a few points here and there throughout the season uh, so we get more prize money at the very end because we're certainly going to need that prize money or we're going to run out of money uh, before the season is over or particularly into next season. All right, so where are we now? Okay, so we're done with the third iteration of front wing. So before I forget it, let's actually come back. New part, and we're going to do the front wing. Let's say we've got, we go from 32 to 38, 37 to 46, 34, 40. Okay, not bad at all. Okay, you can see it's going to take a little while, 110 points in order to get this one done. So it's going to take a little while, but that's okay. All right, let's come back into our projects. And let's see, what else uh, did we see? This course, there's engine, there's steering. Uh, let's go ahead and do some work on... Well, there's, I mean, there's so many different options at this point. So let's just come back up to the top. Let's just go rear wing. And then I'm going to go underbody. So we're going to give three iterations on our first three components. And then we'll start working on some of the other. And then hopefully by the end of the year, uh, we'll have what we need. So we're going to press our money pretty close. Okay, almost done with the suspension. We've got another testing session. And so very similar results, 13 and 22nd. This time, however, we are last in the team standings. That is not where we want to be. 
and we certainly don't want to be there for very long. All right, so development. All right, good. That means we are done with uh, the suspension. So let's go ahead and upgrade car number one on the suspension. And let's see. We come back out to projects. We have three queued up. And so suspension number three is what we're ready to build now. Okay, so suspension three, we'll add it to the very bottom as we continue the process. All right, so let's move forward. We got one more testing session. And this time, okay, much better, much better there. Uh, however, we're still in last place, but overall, not too bad. Not too bad. I'll take 11th and 14th. I feel like we have a great chance at, at scoring at least a point in a race if we can be right around the center line. Uh, of the field. So right around 12th, maybe one car above it, one car probably below it for now. Uh, but somewhere around 12th, I think is the magic number for us here early in the season. Okay, so now we have all the way to week 14 before our very first points paying race uh, to get the season started. All right, so it looks like we finished up, I believe that was Breaks, yes, breaks our third iteration there. So once again, we're going to work our way down, new part. And I so say we're finishing up the second iteration. That'll end up on car number two. Uh, iteration number three will end up on uh, car number one long term as we get there. Okay, so let's see what projects we want to queue up. Uh, we're not quite done. Uh, this is a little weird. We have zero staff here, yet it's showing 49 out of 50. That's probably a glitch, if I'm guessing. So we're not going to pay a whole lot of attention there. We'll focus more on the top one, which is at 49 out of 50. Uh, let's see. The next thing, uh, side pods, I've seen those mentioned. And let's see, gearbox. That's always a good one. We'll go ahead and queue up gearbox, and then we'll get back into the, the wing and the underbody as well. All right, so rear wing uh, is done with the second iteration. So now we're going to add it in for a third iteration. And we'll see. We'll see how this turns out for the, the underbody. I don't think that's right, but uh, hopefully I'm wrong because that would be very nice. Okay, almost done with the brakes under development. Okay, we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and move forward. And all right, so gearbox is now what we're working on. That means we need to come back to the underbody and queue up our third iteration there. And then once the gearbox is done, uh, we'll go for the third iteration of it as well. And now that means we can queue up an underbody in new part development. There we go. All right, so I can already tell this is gonna take some getting used to. We're gonna be going through this process a lot in this game. Um, I do like the fact that we can queue up uh, seemingly a lot of parts and pieces, but one thing is that that's kind of annoying, uh, but I don't know a way around it right now, is the fact that I have to constantly go back and forth uh, between these two so that we're not allowed to start development on a new part until it's completed under our projects tab, which is, again, that's you know, a bit uh, underwhelming at the point, but uh, maybe we'll figure out a way around that. I mean, we've got options on the sides of the screen and so on, but uh, so maybe we can find a, a way to streamline at least some of this. Uh, you can also tell we are eating through some money right now, so we're going to need to get a little bit of income to try to help us out very soon. Uh, let's see, where are we on projects? We're still, okay, we're still good on those. But we're starting to fill out uh, our car a little bit better than uh, where we started. All right, let's look under car setup. And let's see, where are we? We're perfect on the front wing. Okay, we're perfect on the suspension. Uh, brakes, we need to upgrade car number one. And that's it for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and move forward. 
Okay, almost done with the gearbox. And just really getting started on the front wing. Uh, did we just complete a part there? This is where I'm getting confused. We got so many parts and pieces going in different directions that something is telling me we should have an additional part that just got completed. But I don't see one. Okay, so I was mistaken there. Uh, that's certainly nothing new. It's going to happen a lot. All right, so now we're done with uh, the gearbox. And so we got iteration two completed. We'll go for iteration number three. And how are we on the development? All right, so we're not quite there with our third iteration of the front wing. That would have been really nice to get that done uh, before our very first race weekend, but not a huge deal. We'll work with it. Uh, let's go to our car setup and just verify that we've got everything where it needs to be. And we've got our cars as good as we can reasonably expect them to be for our first race. And indeed, it looks like that's the case. So let's go ahead and click on continue. And it's time to race. So this is taking some getting used to for me, not having, you know, there's no practice. There's no tuning the setup. There's none of that. You just, here's where we qualified, which is 15th and 22nd. So not wonderful there. And all right, so we're at Brazil. We've got 60 laps and wow. This is going to take uh, some doing for us. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to split up the strategy. And we're going to go, based on what I'm seeing here, uh, we're not going to be pushing like I was uh, messing around with in the, in the very first video. We're not going to be doing that um, the entire time and, and running through tires very quickly. And so we need to run a two-stop strategy with one of the cars, and then we'll do a single stop with our second car. So in this case, uh, we need to run 20 laps, and this tire life has me a little worried. So we're going to use the medium tire. And let's see. So 20 liters will give us 16 laps. Well, we need uh, 20 at least. Uh, actually, we want a little bit more than that. Uh, let's go ahead with... Let's see, 22, I think, will work because we what we might be able to do is go medium and uh, medium and then soft for the final run of the day. Uh, so I'm thinking that's where we want to go to, to start. And then here, we're going to run 30 laps. Uh, we'll give him 31 laps of fuel. And we're going to be using the hard tire. So the tire life should come out pretty good uh, on, on this. So we're only going to make one stop here with Colin. Vincenzo will make two, or at least that's the plan. All right, so let's go ahead and load up the race. And there you can see we are underway. We're going to go ahead and pause it so we can set up our pitch strategy. Okay, so Vincenzo... Uh, let's see, we want lap 21. And we're going to add... Uh, let's go 22 laps of fuel, so that will match what we are starting the race with. And at that point, we're going to put on the second set of medium tires. And Okay, that looks good. And... I tell you what, just let that run because it's on normal speed. It's not going very fast anyway, so we'll just let it run. All right, so then the next pit stop, our final pit stop of the day for this car, will end up. Uh, let's do on lap 42. Okay, and then at that point, we're going to go the last 18 laps on soft tires. I think we can make that happen, uh, but again, you know, you just never know exactly how much we're going to be able. Uh, to make that happen. We'll go ahead and put 20 laps of fuel there uh, just in case we need it again. I'm assuming these are all estimates. So we'll try to give a little bit more than we're probably going to need. All right, but soft tires, save that. And now we'll do the same thing over here for Colin, but his won't take near as long because we're going to queue up only one pit stop. And we'll do it on 31. And we'll go ahead and give him 32 laps of fuel. 
and hopefully that'll be enough. Okay, so another part of the recent update is that this second, or the first fast forward, is actually a little bit faster than it had been. Now we're going to stay away from this uh, this very final option here because it goes extremely fast. Uh, we might use it a little bit, but it kind of scares me a little bit to fast forward that much uh, through the game while the race is going on. I mean, I know we've already got, best case scenario, we've already got everything queued up to happen, uh, but it still worries me a little bit to have uh, that much going on in the fast forward. So right now, 15th and 22nd, so that's not that's not great uh, at all. Uh, you can see we're showing 20 laps of fuel remaining here, and we're on lap four. So we've actually got an opportunity here to use one of the new options. And thankfully, some tool tips to go along with it. So here, stay out. You know, we don't want you to push. It's going to hurt our lap time, but it helps our tire wear. Then the second option, of course, is push as hard as you can. You get better lap times, but you also have increased tire wear. And then we come to a couple of fuel options. Now, these are new. So we can save fuel. And of course, that will drastically hurt our engine power, but it will save quite a bit of fuel. Or we can turn up the wick and go full force with more power and more fuel consumption. And then our final options uh, that we saw last time, there are, you know, let the the following car by you or try to overtake. So right now, I think we're in good position to actually go ahead and switch on uh, the engine mode because we've got some extra fuel. So let's go ahead and do that with both cars. I'm not going to have them push on the tires right now. Uh, we might do that a little bit later, but right now I just want to get a read on our tire condition and see how much condition we have left uh, and how that affects our lap times as these things wear. Uh, this is definitely something that's going to change as the year goes. And hopefully I'm able to learn more and get better at this strategy. All right, so right now we are right on the heels of a car. I'm actually going to have him try to overtake. Uh, I don't want to go full push because I don't want to kill his tire wear. And right now, poor Colin is back in 22nd. Uh, the good news for him is he's going to make at least one fewer stop than probably anybody else in the field. Everybody's going to have to make one, and I'm figuring a lot of people are going to make two. And the reason I'm figuring that is if I take a look at their tire selection, I see a lot of soft tires in here and medium tires, and that tells me they're probably going to make two stops at least, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, now, immediately, we can tell Don Collins is on rails right now. He is flying. All right, looks like we've got our overtaking done, at least as best I can figure anyway. Yes, looks like we're in pretty good shape there with the overtaking. All right, so now we're showing 10 laps of fuel remaining here for Vincenzo, uh, and we're on lap 13, so that is great. We might have to back off uh, of this engine mode as we approach the end. Uh, in fact, yeah, we may have to do that at the very end. Uh, and in fact, for Colin, we're going to back off right now. I don't want to get him uh, in danger of being low on fuel because that will mess up our strategy even though right now it doesn't appear as though it matters a whole lot. He's fairly slow on the grid. So we're going to focus most of our time on Vincenzo, car number seven, which is right here on the circuit, if you're wondering. All right, so we've closed in right up behind the car in front of us, which is right on the tail of the car in front of it. So 22 and 23 are the car numbers, and then you can't even see the blue car, because we're basically right on top of it. Uh, so I tell you what, we're sitting here very close to being done with this stint for Vincenzo, 57% condition. Let's go ahead and have him push a little bit. Let's see what that does to the tires and just how much condition it takes and how quickly it does so. Uh, but again, on lap 21, we're coming into the pit, so we don't have very much time remaining. So let's just go ahead and have him go uh, full force at this point. 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn up the wick again on Colin. All right, so we need to make this pass. We're up to 12th as pit stops have already started for a few of the cars. So we kept our strategy pretty simple, uh, but there's no reason why you can't get a lot more complex with it. And by complex, I mean swapping up the type of tires you're using and go a few very short stints and very fast stints and then try to go a little bit slower long term uh, with the harder tire. So a lot of different ways of uh, playing this. Let's see, this guy, oh, we're going to have to turn off push here on him because I will get, uh, as we're about to make our pit stop, uh, which he will do the next time by, he's going to finish up lap 21 and actually come into the pits as he's doing so. Uh, I don't want to make, I want to make sure I don't leave that on as he gets the new tires on uh, to run down the condition too quickly. But 29%, so we're able to push a little bit on the medium tire, uh, but not a ton. All right, you can see he comes out in very close proximity to Colin, so that drops us back a little bit. But if you notice on the right-hand side of the screen, we've got several cars that have not made pit stops yet, so hopefully we'll get back up to, or at least toward, the top 12 or 13, 14, somewhere in that range as things uh, continue. Uh, but right now, uh, I'm trying to keep him on overtake because we're sort of here in the middle of this. It uh, looks like he might have actually gotten out of that mess a little bit. So we'll take that off for the time being uh, until he gets right up on the 24 car. And then we might turn it back on. All right, so he's there. So we're going to turn overtake back on. And I'm going to have him push here a little bit, see if we can't make this pass. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn off uh, the the aggressive engine mode on Colin just to make sure we've got enough to make it. We should, uh, based on what I'm seeing here, but I want to make sure. I don't want to take any chances with that. And he's already so low in the running order that I don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference uh, anyway. All right, I'm going to turn off uh, the pushing there as it looks like we are... No, actually, it looks like we're right on top of that car. It's kind of hard to tell uh, always exactly where you are. But I don't want to push too hard uh, too early. So let's go ahead and back off a little bit uh, with him. Uh, condition is great on the tires here for Colin. So let's go ahead and push for the last few laps. So that means we can push even more during his final stint. So that'll be good. Now for him... Uh, let's go ahead and go into overtake mode since he is certainly in some traffic there and just have him go really hard uh, this last few laps. So I think we've, yeah, I think we've ensured we're going to make it. Uh, we're showing about three and a half liters left. We're going to be pitting at the end of lap 31, which um, has just started for all the cars. So I think we're in great shape there. He's in full attack mode right now as he finishes up. Uh, you can also see all the lap times and see how they uh, progress throughout the stint. All right, so Vincenzo is back in some traffic. We're keeping him on the aggressive engine mode. It seems to be doing pretty good to keep it on most of the time. Okay, so Colin is now back out. He's got his brand new tires on. And we're going to let him push really hard here for uh, a few laps. And then we'll turn off the at least the engine mode and probably uh, take him off of pushing quite so hard. But we had plenty of tire left last time, so uh, we're in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and have Vincenzo. You can see he is right there with, I believe that's the blue a car immediately in front of us. No, actually it's not. Okay. Uh, no, it is the blue car. I'm sorry. I've been so used to Colin being down here at the bottom that I thought that was Vincenzo when I looked up. So uh, my bad on that. Unfortunately, that will not be the last time that happens. 
All right, coming up on pit stop number two and the final pit stop, hopefully, for Vincenzo uh, on lap 42. So we're looking pretty good on fuel uh, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and crank up that engine mode. We're going to turn that off uh, for Colin right now. And I'm also going to turn off pushing uh, for him right now as well. Actually, it looks like he's got a little bit of clean track right now. Uh, he's got some pressure from behind, though. All right, so Vincenzo has worked his way up into 12th. You can see everybody now has made one pit stop. So strategy is starting to play out. We're about to see the second round of pit stops begin. Looks like uh, Don Collins is doing exactly that. Same thing with his teammate, Pedro. All right, condition of our tires is certainly taking a, a hit, but uh, it looks like we're going to make it to the very end. Same thing with fuel. Uh, so overall, very happy with what Vincenzo is doing right now as well as Colin. All right, so let's take a quick look at, uh, now that we know Vincenzo is coming in very shortly, I'm actually going to turn off the pushing for him. We are very close to running out of tire, and it doesn't seem as though it's really hurting our times all that much uh, at this low a condition, so that's good. That's something good to know. It certainly has hurt, uh, but it's not the end of the world, I don't think. And plus, he's gotten into... Uh, some traffic, so he should be peeling off here next time by. And I better turn off that engine mode. He is about to run out of fuel. Have I gone too far and run him out of fuel? Oh, it's going to be so close. But you can see he's right here. He's almost there. And we cut it perfectly. Wow. Okay, let's try not to go quite that hard uh, in the future. That is a bit more than I wanted. All right, so he comes back out in 14th. Not bad, considering there are a lot of people around him in the running order that are only on stop number one. All right, so 21 laps of fuel remaining for Colin, and that should be good. So let's go ahead and turn back up the aggressive engine mode. You notice I'm leaving that off for the time being uh, let's see. Let's take a quick look. So we got, you know, 14, 15 laps to go, 18 there. All right, where are we on the track? So he's coming up on, on a car. That actually might be a lap car. No, it's actually not a lap car. We just got lapped. So that's actually the second or third place car that just passed us. The car we're interested in is this 22 uh, orange car. So we've got a little bit of work to do to catch them. Uh, I'm a little worried about our tires, so I'm not keen on pushing him too hard there. Okay, everything is looking pretty good. I'm going to back off a little bit uh, with Colin just to preserve those tires. I think we're going to be fine on his tires, but just in case. Fuel should be good. I believe we're going to be able to run this uh, engine mode for the remainder of the race on him. But I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, hopefully I will anyway. All right, so a little bit of clean air here for uh, Colin. It appears. Uh, Vincenzo, same thing. It appears anyway. Let's see where he's at. Okay, nope, he's actually right there with... The 23. Uh, is that a lap car? It looks like there's another another circle there, uh, but it's hard to tell. And I really don't want to uh, pause the game because uh, that will make our video even longer. And we are cutting it close already on the length of time that I would like to use on, on these particular videos. But sometimes you just have to go a little longer to get things done, and that has been the case today. All right, so we've got about seven laps to go. Uh, 12 laps of fuel, yeah, we're fine. We're going to crank this back up and have him actually go get it now. 
it's time to go. Uh, let's see, we have, yes, we have two cars immediately in front of us. We could get up to 12th conceivably if we play this right. Uh, it would appear as though our tires are going to be fine. Uh, let's go ahead on both cars. So let's go ahead and go full attack mode for Colin. And you can see he's coming up on another car there for 16th position. And let's see, where are... Where are we with Vincenzo? I am, I've lost him on the screen. There he is. Okay, four laps to go. Uh, let's go full attack mode with him as well. And I think he's going to be fine with fuel. Both of our cars should be. So full attack mode. And we're going to give it everything we've got running 14th and 16th right now. So very good. The two strategies are turning out, actually, I think, pretty well. I'm pretty happy with this. You can see Vincenzo has caught the car in front of him. And actually, uh, Colin passed, I believe, the car he was trying to get past. Looks like we got another pit stop there. Somebody coming in, probably... Uh, pulled one of my tricks where they underestimated the amount of fuel. And actually, we're going to run out. Okay, so Vincenzo, we are up to 11th. Wow. Okay, that's higher than I thought we had a shot of getting. But we're certainly very pleased with that. All right, so we're running down last lap. And it looks like Vincenzo is in great position. Uh, actually pulling away from his competitor, his nearest competitors. Uh, same thing here with Colin. So 11th and 15th, that is awesome. That is much higher than I thought. But as we talked about uh, before, that's sort of best case scenario for us in order to try to win uh, some points. So let's see how it turned out. 11th and 15th, and no, we did not get any points. How on earth did we finish last in the team results when we had two cars here? So are these other teams, maybe these other teams are going for one really good car and one bad one. No, this is something's not right here. Maybe the game is, once you have zero points, maybe it just doesn't care. It's just randomly placing the teams in here. And the reason I say that is, you notice, all right, so we've got Villa RT. Both of their cars finished below us. Green Energy, same thing. Pinardi, same thing. Uh, Coral, same thing. Both of their cars on all of these teams finished below us. The final team to get points is Forca Orange. Interesting name there. Okay, you can see they place... Their second car placed one in front of us. First car placed two in front of our other one. Okay, so we were very close there. With some more improvements to our car, we might be able to score points within maybe the next few races. Uh, probably not the next race because that is coming along very quickly, but hopefully in the not-too-distant future. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. So a very interesting first race of our career uh, and our very first season. So that'll do it. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned as we will continue Open Wheel Manager.